The Marx Brothers' pranks, both on and off the screen, were legend in Hollywood. The confusion they caused and the comedy that resulted had everyone talking. Everyone, that is, but Harpo. Harpo was the one Marx brother who kept his mouth shut. But the silence is broken in today's inside story. Got a flashlight? Harpo was the silent star of the Marx Brothers, shining brightly in scenes with Groucho, Chico, Zeppo, and in vaudeville with Gummo. This is legal. There's no seal on it. Where's the seal? 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 He and the other Marx Brothers reigned over a huge family. All told, they raised 11 children of their own, and Harpo was the favorite uncle. To this day, Harpo still remains something of a mystery. But those who actually knew him say Harpo was as wild and lovable off the set as he was on screen. These rare home movies show Harpo as few have ever seen him, without his wig and costume. Here he's clowning around on a fishing trip after landing a big catch. This scene shows him poolside at home in Beverly Hills with his son, Bill. These days, Bill Marks, all grown up, follows in his father's footsteps as an entertainer in his own right. He remembers the sound of Harpo's voice, which was never recorded for film or television. He would say words like, Hamburger, Takey, T-E-Y-K-E-Y, not Toiky, but Takey, liver waste. And it would get way down low. <laughs> Bill also remembers Harpo for his comic antics at home. He had this urge one day to take the harp and place it in the bathroom and sit on the john and practice for an hour. His father's practice harp has since become a family keepsake, along with Harpo's famous costume. This is the coat that dad wore in animal crackers and as you notice there's an extended sleeve here this is where all the knives came out loaded himself up with 400 knives and they all came out don't you know your poor old mother sits there you can't go wrong and when harpo wasn't performing he loved to get out in the sun even to the point of playing golf in the nude bill saw it happen one hot summer day on a deserted golf course near palm springs he would hit the ball, get in the golf cart, and go find the ball, get out, hit it again, and it was pretty warm, so what he would do is he would go and jump in a neighbor's pool to, to cool off, get up, we'd go in the golf cart, and he did it for 18 holes. He just loved to be out there in the sun, and I'm proud to say that uh, I, I witnessed it, but please don't ask me where he kept the tee. Others remember Harpo as an outrageous prankster. Gummo's son, Bob Marks, recalls his uncles, Harpo and Chico, getting together for practical jokes. They drove down Sunset one night, and there used to be a mortuary which had a timeless clock. No hands on the clock. They painted hands on that clock. Sadly, Harpo died in 1964 following heart surgery. Groucho's daughter, Miriam, says most of all, it was Harpo's tenderness that made him so memorable. He was my absolute favorite uncle because he was a really sweet man. And that comes across in this on the screen, and it's true in real life, too. He really was. Harpo's son is trying to make a movie about his dad's real-life exploits as a spy. He says in the 1930s, Harpo smuggled secret papers out of Russia at the request of the U.S. government. 